everybody and welcome to another daily demo alley. I am Rogue Gamer and you know the gist. I go to Steam, I check out what new releases came out in the terms of demos and then I come and showcase one of them to you today. It's a little bit loud still, let's turn it down a bit before we go to settings. Okay, today we have a Disposition. Disposition is an escape room inspired game about strategic memory placement you go through a sequence of engaging tasks where you must detect anomalies and observe details. All while being timed motion. These challenge, uh, challenges change every floor you ascend. It is gonna be coming soon, it is developed by Astrohound and published by them. From their own description of their own trailer, it's like a liminal observation duty kinda thing. So. Since, you know, the first Observation Duty um, videos came, uh, not videos, uh, games came out, and then Liminal Space uh, games came out, like Backrooms and all that, uh, we've had a mixture of them. It's like they came together, made a baby, and then it was like Observation, Liminal Rooms, uh, I think it was like Station 8, Floor something something, and they keep on coming out, but because it's pretty easy to actually make them, I guess, since it's usually just one room or one floor or one hallway, there is like a train five or something like that. And then the mechanic is basically you go through that uh, area, you check if there's any anomalies or basically differences, you basically spot the difference game. And if there is, you come back, if there isn't, you go forward. And that's basically the whole gameplay loop for the gist. And it's not that people just recreate that, um, a lot of them have either horror elements or some other weird element or a story element that makes you, you know, go through. So it's liminal, it's hidden object or like spot the difference kind of thing and then even those effects sometimes can be funny or interesting and nice to play with. What does the info say? A game by Sebastian Barot and uh, Jonathan Como. Astro count, okay, yeah, so two devs, pretty fine for, you know, two devs to do that. Motion blur, I motion blur. Is there any, oh, there is a video, I'll be a master. I'm just gonna tone it down a bit, because it's okay, but it's a little bit loud. Controls, wow, sensitivity, basically, just like, uh, maybe a little bit more controls, but not controls, options, but that's fine. Okay, let's get it, oh, ow. I didn't expect to be tossed in, but like I fell from a floor or Capstan Corp. Welcome to Capstan Corp. You seem to have fallen. Examine the steps on the wall and proceed through the doors at your convenience. Okay, the the wibbly wow wow. Can this be turned off? Camera Bob. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Camera Bob is okay, but it's a little bit too much. So observe the PC. Put the PC. Oh yeah, this has timed. I don't like timed shit. Can I run fast? Yes, you can. Run, 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 run. Survey the room. Acknowledge its details. The primary object of interest is the computer situated on the desk. All right. Okay, the computer on the desk. Running, running, running. Well, we got the computer. Running, 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 running. Position the computer on the desk. Orientation is irrelevant. Just ensure it's within the designated area. Okay, well, missed. Oh, wow, I can zoom in for this. Can I toss this? I'm guessing that's a good orientation. What is... Oh, what's the radio? I'm just using battery. Now let's test your short-term memory. Multiple objects are positioned on the desks within the room. Memorize their locations. Can I take some of them? I take, can I take the banana? Okay, that's something. Recorder. Light. Another shit. Oh, it's time. Okay, the 
light is to the right. Now place the item you received in a similar position to its previous location. Got it. So what is this? Well done. The room number has increased. <coughs> Let's move on. Achieve 10 consecutive successful placements to progress to the next floor. Wow. Damn. Jesus. This position. So visualistic. Okay. Is it just table? So the light is there. The black box is there. The fan is there. Uh, hopefully it's that. Okay, black box. I hope it's just a table. If stuff. assistance is required, utilize the space bar. Be advised, battery life is limited. This message is pre-recorded, so follow the static for guidance. It increases in volume when you are closer to the correct area. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's useful. We get some assistance. Okay. Uh, black box fan. PC and camera on the desk. Fuck, I need this bloody camera. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. Okay, hopefully it's there. Running, 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 running. Four! Okay, camera on the desk. Desk. Light. Projector, slides, banana. Okay, camera, banana, desk, uh, slides, and that. Ah, shit. My memory is crap. I woke up at like 5 a.m. and I barely got any sleep before that. This is gonna be a test of my. all of my brain cells that are still awake and alive. Oh, fuck me. Okay, this is some kind of a scanner thing. Light on the second, that on the third. Fax, phone, something. What's making this? Oh, radio. Nice. And a TV. Okay, so let's go from this end. Uh, some scanner looking thing, light, black box, uh, keyboard. Uh, scanner looking thing, no, whatever this is, uh, oh, okay, but that's gonna be here. I like we could just chuck him right there. Disregard the test subject on the left. It was once a participant similar to you, but after excelling in its task, it now remains permanently stationed in that small room for data processing. If he excelled at his task, then why is... Never mind, I'm not gonna question. Oh, fuck me. Uh, coffee machine. Light. Uh, yeah, projector, this. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Okay, let me, let me rescan re this room. So, light, fan, and that is there. The light is there. Uh, scanner, and that uh, coffee machine. Hey, hey, listen. I think I can get you out of here. Just get to the second floor and I'll find you there. Wow, this is gonna have a story. This is gonna be nice. I think that was here. Yep. I need to get to the second floor. So this is not going back. This is mostly just memorizing shit. Oh, boy, it's getting worse each time. Okay, this thing is... Slideshow is... Oh, fuck me. Camera and camera to the right. PC at the middle, scanner there, this light there, and what happens? Oh fuck, that was stink. Right here. Yeah. Alright. Ah, uh, yes, the server room. This one is my personal favorite. So much intriguing equipment. You are almost there. I like that there is like a story there to this. Usually there isn't, or it's very limited. Okay, uh, on the left we have the disc, the little TV, the pyramid TV, and that's it. So, uh, disc, TV, pyramid TV, light, black box, camera, 
scanner. Uh, okay, light, that's all, all, all the way to the right. Okay. First one. Running, 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 bobbing, 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 running, 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 bobbing, 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 running, 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 right? Ah, okay. Focus, focus. Uh, there's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, don't care. Scissors. Okay, so uh, the slide show thing and the projector. Fan. What is this? Profit projections. Profit figure one. Pick one plus two. Identify project tips and plus unlimited. Time. Infinite growth. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. This it's good that there's not that many items. This is gonna get worse. I hope if I fail I just return here. I don't you know do anything extra. I don't know. Uh I don't need to start from one. Okay. Uh this is also kind of decently is this just a projector, not a black box? I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, uh, let's refocus again. So we have the projector slides and projector and the projector over here. To the left, to the right, we have a light. Uh, box TV. Fan to the left, camera to the right. And scanner there and the black box there. Uh, I think this is the box TV. He's to the right somewhere. Oh fuck! That's I think it was all of it. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Can I can I, can I, can I go up? Can I go up? Okay. Up here is the scanner and the camera. That's all I need to know. Scanner and camera. Dreamland. Oh fuck. Anyway, scanner, camera, black box is right in, then the red thing. Box TV, a light. Other computer, scanner, uh, keyboard thing. So it's. As I said, uh, fuck, what did I say it was up there? Ah, scanner and camera, black box, TV, uh, red thing, fan, TV, keyboard. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, uh, this should be easy, it's right ahead, right here. What should I have it? Oh, now I have it. I think it bugged out. Didn't show. Now it shows. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the simulation. Wishlist disposition. You may replay and improve your time. I rock! I rock! I'm on barely four hours of sleep and I've done my shift and I've completed this game in eight minutes, thirty six seconds, thirty seven, whatever. Yeah, no, 57. <laughs> okay, I count this as a win. My memory is not that short. It is short. It's short as much as Swiss cheese, but apparently I managed to play this and finish it. Do I get to level 2 or level 1? Level 2? Oh, okay, it's ending. Echo placement. Best scores. Uh, are you shitting me? Three minutes. What? Okay, at least I am like, what? Uh, 36, so I'm 8. I'll take that. Rogue Gamer. Uh, I don't know if these are actually players. Because this is a demo, so... I wouldn't be surprised if there are just 15 people who tried this. Uh, but uh, Ivan Jordan, Spamton, C, 3CN, CRI, Blue Raven, Stacy, Bobber, Dobster, Shack on Frozen, Tendo, 11, That Jelly Belly, Echo Gaming, 
attack master peak soda like that's really fast the everybody else like maybe i could have shaved off a few minutes uh if i uh talked less and you know focused more on the game well maybe like, like a minute yeah not as much but yeah register i mean i have visual proof i think at this point when, when the game is still in beta or in demo okay this is fun this is nice you can even have a leaderboard i hope this is like proper you know world leaderboards anyway thank you for playing this concludes the demo feel free to replay this level and improve your best time on the leaderboards fuck yeah To turn down the music just a bit because it is still a lot of slightly loud. Give me more options for boy. Uh, first of all, the first issue I have give me more uh, volume options because I want to uh, turn up more the people who speak and turn down the effects. Like, I know there are not many effects in the game, like in, in the game proper, but you can add. You can add, like, when you have there's the radio, you can have more, add more effects. And I barely heard the guy say, uh, you know, go to the second floor to, you know, get, get out. And yeah, just, just do a little bit of that. Maybe lessen the camera bob, motion blur. Thank God I turned that off. Who knows how awful it would have, uh, it would have been. Um, everything else is fine. The visuals are fine. It's simple. I don't care if it's even, you know, uh, asset flipped. I, I don't care. These, these guys, the game don't provide something specific or unique. The uniqueness comes with you know what kind of a gameplay loop it's gonna be and this is i don't know if 10 uh each time and it's progressively getting worse and worse is gonna be good um like if you get reset one level that's okay like if you get uh, if i fail on level seven i get back to level seven something like that that would be fine i don't know what happens like in the tutorial you kind of fail and then you uh you get killed or something i don't know what's gonna happen i don't want to test i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave that for you guys uh but like that would be okay if i need to restart uh each time from level from like uh room one and go to room 10 and there's like i don't know how many floors like if there's like two or three floors sure maybe it's that's okay but if it's gonna be like 10 floors uh it's just gonna drag out and you could easily, you know, mistake something because this is a it is an observation duty, but you're not really observing what's changed. You're going from room to room and you know that things are changed as well. Like it's not anomaly hunting. Um, you absolutely know that the things are going to be missing in the next room and you need to fill out the thing that you got. So it is a different kind of um, gameplay loop it's an interesting new take on uh, the whole genre i think it's gonna be basically a genre at this point of like observation games and it's a little bit more involved it's a little bit you know weird you need to not look at everything you just look at the tables maybe on the next floors it changes up it becomes anomaly becomes less doors becomes more you know, with this you can pretty much go each level differently or similarly uh the only good thing is like the, you get some help with that radio uh, kind of thing because that is actually helpful if you are mistaken if it's like this table or the table be uh, you know next to it i used it I, I i literally used it i was not sure if it was on the table i clicked it i heard the static i confirmed it i got got away that's basically it so that is a good help uh, i don't know if you can like refill them maybe it refills per floor that would be okay uh, but yeah, it's a pretty chill, pretty interesting thing. You can probably do this. Um, this would be a fun streaming game, like with your community uh, on whether YouTube, Twitch, or whatever you want to stream, because they can also yell at you and tell you where the thing was or where it goes. Uh, I'm honestly expecting a few streamers and YouTubers that I follow to play this, and I would probably watch it and watch them lose their mind. Uh, I wouldn't play this honestly i'm not good at memorizing uh, things uh, like this so and i doubt myself too much so i would be running around being confused more than anything else so but it is an interesting game and it is an interesting uh revision on the previous iterations of these games and it's fun to watch them actually uh, develop as i said 
from you know the back rooms from the simple observation duty where you just flip cameras uh, to like these interactables where you move around uh, there's anomalies happening uh, to like this kind of uh, spot the difference to um, this is basically what's missing and you know where does the thing go maybe like on the next level it drops more things I, I don't think so because the, the mechanic of holding one item is very specific um, but yeah it, it could you can really play with this mechanic for this game specifically and if they make like a second uh, disposition you can add multiple different levels of anomalies of takes how to do this and it is a good jumping off point for like if this game sells well to produce more and just add more mechanics it's an easy base just like the old observation uh, duty games were and they were like i think three of them were basically the same and then when he became popular like the game got popularized by youtubers uh he kind of started changing uh you know the mechanics the the type setting you know more interaction or even like making the game actually easier which is funnier uh, for you know later games because the first games were just brutal on like if you miss stuff you die you repeat again repeat again later games like you can make mistakes oh yeah the, i think it, like the first few were like if you make a mistake uh in submitting you just it came over you uh so yeah it was a really this is a really interesting take and procedurally you know uh, advancing on the genre who knows what we're gonna see next it's de continuously developed i i, I watch youtubers play the, these kinds of games and every new game has something new either more on the terms of story or more the terms of gameplay and this kind of has both and you can do a lot of cool and liminal or stanley parable like or even uh, horror type of games with this and i've seen a few already uh, do different things you can do a comedy also as i said stanley parable uh, with this could be really comedic and really funny this is bordering that maybe it gets you know funnier down the level uh, and up the floors uh, basically but yeah uh, this has been uh, this position uh, liminal uh, observation duty hidden object uh well, not hidden object but you know object placement kind of game and yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking around do like subscribe comment dance there is patreon for support you can check me out live on twitch slash my pen and paper or on youtube at my pen and paper Till next time, as always, do remember, it's the stories that we play. See ya.